Bommie's Cafe? Is that even possible? I gotta check this out. Wow, this place is huge. Bommy, you start your own cafe? This looks amazing. It's massive. What do you sell here? Oh, I could go for a mine espresso. Um, the bomb? This can't be good. What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be a mod showcase on the Minespresso mod. And guys, what this mod does is it adds in an espresso machine into Minecraft. And you can buy some really cool drinks and some of them give you potion effects. So today we're actually on a cafe map. You can see right in front of us, Bommy created his own cafe. It is pretty epic too. I'm impressed. Bommy is definitely growing up. So this machine right here is the only thing in the entire mod and you can pick out so many different drinks like each one of these has a bunch of different choices too. So we're going to check out the recipe and then try out all the drinks. So right in here guys we got the recipe. A lot of iron but trust me it's worth the recipe because you only have to make it once and you get free drinks forever. It doesn't cost anything because you know it's your own machine. If you owned your own machine you probably wouldn't have to put money into it. So this one, a bunch of blocks of iron, sugar, and a button, and then you're pretty much done. And if you want to break it and move it around, which you might want to do, like you might even want to carry this machine around with you to fight a boss so you get some potion effects, all you need is a pickaxe to pick it up, so it's pretty easy. And this is it right here. It looks really cool and bomby, you know, he put it there, as you can see. It's his little cafe right here. And in here we've got coffee, cappuccinos, hot chocolate, lattes, tea, and mine espressos of course so we're gonna start with coffee and try all the drinks all you have to do is click on it it doesn't matter if you're in creative or survival and it goes directly into your inventory so i got some regular coffee and some sleepy coffee so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get really hungry because right now guys you know i'm not very hungry so i've got some potions of hunger and i'm gonna eat this i'm, I'm gonna drink it i'm not gonna eat anything today it's all drinks i'm gonna drink this and we're gonna try it out and guys, if you're wondering why I'm outside right now, it's because I don't really get along with Bommy's customers. There's a lot of mobs in there. The place is pretty dark, and I didn't want to ruin it with torches, and I can't put it on peaceful because Bommy is considered a mob. But anyways, we got coffee right here. So right now, I'm extremely thirsty, I guess. Not hungry, I'm thirsty. So if I drink this, I get about two bars back. It doesn't give you any special effects, but keep in mind, you know, it's normal coffee. It's nothing special. But this one, it says extra sleepiness. So the sleeping coffee... It actually makes it so you can go to sleep. So it changes it to nighttime. That is so useful. I can think of so many different times where I wanted to go to sleep in Minecraft, but it wasn't quite nighttime. And now I can drink this and go to bed. All right, guys. So let's see what else we can get here. So there's cappuccinos. And in this one, there's just a regular one. So we'll grab this. And let's see. In the next section here, we've got hot chocolate. So there's regular and sugary. So I'm going to grab all three of these and test them out. If I have the regular cappuccino, it gives me back some hunger. And this one, I think three bars. And the other one that put you to sleep, it was only a bar and a half. So you can see like each one is different and they all have their own effects. And nothing special from that one. And I think the same thing with the hot chocolate. So right now, if I drink this, I am going to get a bar and a half back and no effect. But keep in mind, guys, this one is special. It's extra sugar. So you know it's going to make you like really hyper if you drink it. So if you have this one, I get a bar and a half, plus I've got speed and jump boost for one minute. Look how cool this is. So this is great for traveling around your world and definitely useful. And keep in mind, you get these for free. Once you make this machine, I can make as many of these as I want. I could take out like 64 and have an entire stack of these with me. Let's see what else Bobby has for sale. So lattes. In this section, we got regular and experience. So this one, it's actually going to give you experience when you drink it. So let's see what else we can grab here. Let's get some tea. We got regular and healing tea. So you can definitely tell like the regular ones, they don't give you effects, but they heal your hunger and it's really easy to get it. You kind of just, you know, you click on a button and the other ones actually have really cool effects. Okay, guys, so the first one we're going to check out is the normal latte. And when I drink it, it's going to give me back two and a half bars of hunger. And just like all the normal stuff, it doesn't give you any special effects. But honestly, it's awesome because it's basically free. Once you have that machine, I can get like stacks and stacks of them. But this one, it's amazing. Extra experience. So whenever I drink it, I literally get experience. So I'm going to get back two and a half bars plus two levels of experience. That is insane. You can enchant stuff like crazy. And yeah, it's super overpowered. It really is. So I can keep drinking it too, guys. Get a bunch of these. You can enchant anything with like 30 levels. And you can keep drinking even if you're not hungry. Because, you know, it's a drink. It's not food. 
kind of makes sense but what i was trying to show is how much hunger these actually get back but honestly you can get as many levels as you want from drinking tons of them all right, guys, so the next one we're on to is tea. And once again, you know, it doesn't really give you anything special, but you get like three bars of hunger back, which is always awesome. And I'll take anything that's free. I really will. I'll take this flesh. It's free. It's on the ground. And this right here, guys, tea, but with special effects. It's extra healthy, and I think it was actually called healing tea. So when you take damage, this one is going to heal you back up. And my God, where did you come from? Came from the bar over there. You know what, guys? Let's get in a bar fight at Bommy's Cafe. It takes some damage and try it out. All right, so I think I know how to do this. Let me just jump in here. You guys are all ugly. Is it working? Okay, drink this quick. I'm drinking it. Oh, five hearts back. So as you can see, I mean, this is amazing. I can kind of just walk around and take damage and drink the tea and never die. I'm pretty sure I could beat him with punches if I wanted to. Maybe. I'm like about to die. But as you can see, super overpowered. And you can get tons of these. I feel bad for Bommy. One of the mobs must have knocked him down off his TNT into the corner there. All right, guys. So one section left. Mine Espresso. And right here, we got regular, magical, sugary magic and the bomb, which really sounds like something Bommy would love. We've got four drinks left now. And the first one, Mine Espresso. So this one, it shouldn't do anything special, but I think I got like five bars of hunger. That is crazy right there. So definitely the best one in the mod. It, it makes sense that it is because, you know, it's the name of the mod. But this one right here is extra magic. So if I drink it, it should give me a bunch of hunger and also regeneration, resistance, and invisibility. So right now I look ridiculous. I'm a bunch of arrows because I got shot a lot when I got in that bar fight. And now it's, it's freaking me out a little bit. But really cool. I mean, the potion effect's so overpowered and I can get so many of these if I want. The next one we're on to is extra sugar. So you can imagine we are going to be like hyped up like crazy. This is a mind espresso, guys. So now I've got speed, jump boost, regeneration, resistance, and invisibility. I have like super quick arrows right now. So yeah, the effects from these are amazing. And that's why I was saying you probably would want to even take the whole machine with you when you go somewhere. So you can get as many of these as you want instead of filling your inventory up with like hundreds of coffee and espressos. And now guys, we're going on to the most overpowered one of all, the bomb. And it doesn't blow you up. That's honestly what I was hoping when I saw the mod. But check this out. My hunger went up like seven bars. It was ridiculous. It was a lot there. And also, I have night vision, speed, haste, instant health, jump boost, fire resistance, water breathing, and invisibility for one minute. That is just crazy. Like, it really is the bomb. This is amazing. So I'm going to get in a bar fight now, and I can't even lose. I can't lose. You guys can't kill me. Maybe an explosion could since I have no armor. But I can fight stuff and just not die, guys. I have instant health on. So when they hit me, can't really feel it. Can't feel it, bro. Just don't blow me up and I'll be good. I think they all just killed each other. But yeah, the buffs on this are amazing. And honestly, you can get as many as you want. So this is like one of the most overpowered machines I've ever seen before. But it's really cool if you have some really strong bosses and stuff installed with other mods. And yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with this. If you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.